We're coming up on our 40th wedding anniversary yep, this Sunday. weekend. Sunday. Sunday. Yep. And we've actually known each other since we were kids. Yep. She's older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I robbed the cradle. Ha ha ha. He was standing at the at one end of the courtyard and he wanted to get my attention, the love of my life, who I was going steady with. And he picked up some snow, made a snowball, and tossed it at me. As the snowball went, so went the ring. <laughs> and here we are 43 years later. <laughs> this is my understanding that um, one of the, the parent volunteers um, <clears throat> was, was digging for the trench for the box. When she came across it, I know that she got very excited, but it was so dirty that um, you could barely make out um, any of the detail. And so then she took it home and, and cleaned it up and was able to tell us the initials. Dick Walsh remembered quite a few of the students from that class and um, he decided to go to the yearbook that's in our library and um, that's when he came up with the two students, um, Craig, Leon, Schofield, yes, and Cindy Leister. So she called, uh, Craig Schofield, and he said, well, I knew a woman close swing and all that. So he called me back at 7 o'clock at night. Now, that's past my bedtime. So <laughs> and he said, I looked for my class ring, and I found it. And that's when he, he since she got in touch with you. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. But yeah. You, you knew you had lost I knew it. Us. I knew it. I knew it yeah. was mine. Yeah, so I knew it. that's the story. <laughs> Man, it was, it, was, it was really kind of a neat thing. I mean, after all this time, I had, we had, hadn't thought about it in so many years and just really kind of figured it was kind of lost forever at this point and so for the ring to finally come back to me it's it just goes to show you if you're meant to have something you eventually get it <laughs>